powered by Virginia. Radio. Yo, 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 good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Wednesday, everyone. What a beautiful day it is. This is the first show of the ninth month, you guys. So let's clap it up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, to the completion of the new beginnings. Now we're stepping into the humble startings. And as we step into the humble startings, who is a better guest to bring on the show tonight than the guest I got in here for you now, baby? Be up talking about they came all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. Big it up one time for the ride, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> woo woo. You better know it. Hey. So, without further ado, because I got so excited, y'all know I do a little spiel first, but we're going to skip all that. Good evening. Welcome to T Spills. Thank you guys for tapping back in and tuning in with us tonight. The special guest tonight is next to. <laughs> next to. Come on. And talk to him. We have Micah sitting to my right. Woo-woo. Give it up for Micah. And we got Matthew sitting to my left. Woo-woo. Give it up for Matthew. You rather be called Matt, don't you? Okay. I'm going to respect you, gang. So, Matt. So, we're going to go ahead and reintroduce him as Matt, okay? And they are coming here. They are 14 years old. They are 15. Oh, I apologize. <laughs> Editor's correction. 15 years old, okay? Coming straight from North Carolina. So, we're going to just let them represent and um, introduce themselves. And then they brought a whole entourage, y'all. Look, they is professional. Hold on, I got to say this before I bring them on. They are professional, y'all. I love it. They got a security guard and everything. Thing. Y'all better watch out for these young men. Do you hear me? They is bossed up and ready. You understand me? You better get ready. If you ain't tapped in, you better tap in now. But without further ado, go ahead and introduce you guys yourself. So my name is Micah. My name is Matthew. And we are next to. We're 15 years old. Uh based in born and raised in Charlotte. Oh. <laughs> born and raised in Charlotte, North Carolina. And yeah, that's our hometown. That's where we're from. Whoop whoop. To Charlotte, a beautiful place. <laughs> what you want to add to that? Uh, nothing really. You said nothing. it all. Okay. <laughs> so look, I got a question. I'm just gonna go ahead and dive in with the question. So look, how does it feel being a twin? Uh, I be forgetting sometimes. Yeah. So y'all so individual, like, like y'all. Like, not really. I mean, we do like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just like I can't even count how many. I don't even know. Like I don't think it's ever. I don't even think it's a number of how many times we not been together like i think it's <laughs> been maybe one day or plus the days that i was in the hospital when we first got born and i didn't come home or whatever but uh i mean we with each other all the time we got the same mindset pretty much we say the same words and sentences sometimes so i mean we get that we look alike sometimes so uh, i think it's, it's pre- for me it's pretty fun to have him as a twin what about you it's fun for me even though he's technically the big brother I like bullying him and mess with him all the time. So, yeah, I get fun out of that. Yeah. Okay, that's dope. I like that. Thank y'all for answering that. I know that might have been a little personal question, but I really just wanted to know. And um, it's so crazy how that ties into the name I gave for you guys, the title I gave. I put two kings in one vision. Like and that's that. super dope that you came and you just, and I didn't even know. Because, oh, yeah, give me y'all a little background. I've never talked to these young men until today. This is my first time seeing them, speaking to them, anything. Your connections are everything. You hear me? Big shout out to Miss V. Woo-woo. <laughs> Your connections are everything. So I said that to say that it's so ironic that you are two young kings with one vision. So yes, let's man. talk about this vision, right? This vision of music, this vision of R&B. What gave you this vision? Uh... I mean, I think, I mean, growing up in the family that we grew up in, it's a lot of singing, it's a lot of music, everything. Rapping, singing, dancing, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I think just young, like I tell everybody, seeing it when you're young, it make you want to do it. I mean, when that's the only thing you can look up to, at some point in your life, you're going to be like, hey, let's try to do it too. Yeah. And I think, uh, vision-wise, I'm, I'm you know what, I ain't going to say it yet, because I think you're going to ask that question. <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. Uh, you said it all again. <laughs> okay, we're going to the vision. So, what's the vision? Come on, talk about the vision. I love to do the vision. I love to do the vision. Come on. Uh, the vision for me is to inspire people through music or touch people's lives through music. Yeah. Do you concur that? So, I, I mean, I think it's a, it's a big thing with that. Uh, just like people like Chris Brown, and you know Michael Jackson, everybody that inspired us. I want 
someday to have some little kid, some little boy. Maybe if a little girl be like, dang, I liked what he did. Let me try to take it into my own hands, do it how I want to, uh, do it how I would do it, but make the same impact he did. So I think end all be all. I think I want people to look up to us and, you know, not be, try to be just like us, but, you know, just make the same type of impact that we are going to make. <laughs> I like, come on, people. <laughs> Somebody been teaching you well, baby, your yes. life. You see the words in the life. He spoke life over his life. You hear me? He's young and he spoke life over his life. Pay attention, y'all. Stay woke, all right? Huh. Now, I'm going to ask you a question because you're trying to be quiet over here. So, I want you to talk. <laughs> uh-huh. I see you, sir. So, uh, what attracted you to music? Um, Talk up. Mm. It's okay. There's no right or wrong answers. Probably, I would say watching him in church sing sometimes and listening to music and like different types of genres of music is that's probably probably what what it is for me okay hold on Mm. (laughs) church i heard church so we sing gospel (laughs) okay do you sing gospel as well oh do y'all guys sing me a gospel song right now if y'all may yes we will uh we want to do guys a song on my side hey let's do it talk to me listen to him you can back up off the mic now. Oh, what is it? You need that. <laughs> what is it? Uh, what's the note? God is always. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay. God has always stood by my side. He has always been my God when my friends walked away and turned back on me he storm and through the rain I was too weak to carry on but he gave me strength and he made me strong he stood right by my side Y'all better come on. Bless the Lord with me. Come on. Just listen. <laughs> y'all, y'all mean. Hmm. <sighs> Thank you. God has blessed y'all. Y'all know that. It's when me. I first heard y'all music, y'all have such a mature voice, such a mature sound to be 15 years old. <laughs> yes, man. <laughs> Y'all the stuff. They it, y'all. <laughs> if y'all out here, y'all better look good and listen real good. Because I'm telling you, they are the next. <laughs> That's why they, they next to. Next to be. What are you? You saw them questions. Look, you see how God be working. I don't, I don't know if you saw me. <laughs> next to what? Next to this. Next is what? What? Come on now. Yeah. Listen. Yeah, <laughs> It was a. Every, anyway, let me get into them. Uh, God to do everything for a reason. Yes, Nothing is by chance. Yes, ma'am. And y'all are so special. Like I, I, I like that y'all want to be uh, a role model. Y'all want people to look up to you guys. Um, <laughs> because y'all are deserving of that. Y'all are what is missing. Y'all are what is missing. So just yes, keep ma'am. being different. Keep being yourself. Keep being genuine and true and authentic to yourself for your purpose that you're supposed to, to do in this world. Yes, Even though it may change or shift. But keep the purpose. You are, you know how to understand it. Things mature sometimes. But keep the purpose. Don't never stray away what God has given you. Because God has given you guys something. So get back to the interview. But I had to say that to y'all, okay? Yes, ma'am. Because he has given y'all something. For real. Don't, don't. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't abuse it. Y'all have something great. Get exchange lives. <laughs> y'all are dope. Okay, so. Um, mm. Amen. 
so uh, at, at any time was at, at ever a point when one of you were with a, a event or a song and one of you guys weren't with it, or do y'all always kind of be on one accord? Yeah, sometimes it's sometimes I would say it's iffy because I know I want to say the simplest things make Micah feel away about something but it's it's Go sort of like that because i mean that's the truth because when things aren't all the way like as they should be he has a problem with it so it affects the way like his emotions and stuff so you could kind of tell in performances and things like that so yeah. with with me i'm just a i'm a gotta be right perfection it gotta be this it gotta be that it gotta be perfect because it's not perfect one little thing is off even one percent one inch <laughs> one little centimeter i'm gonna be like nah i don't even want to do it no more but I think, um, song wise, I think we pretty much agree. Would you what mean like b- by performing and stuff? Like just anything. Like I was thinking about that. That's I like that uh, feedback. But I also was more so thinking about like was this one of you guys' dream and y'all uh, just tagged oh, along okay. with it, or was it both of you guys' dream? I think with me and Matt. I mean, since nobody always, not everybody always knew Matt could sing. <laughs> so when we, I mean, when we were kids. We always used to be in the room together singing, writing songs. We we know we still know the songs we wrote. We was about yeah. seven years old, or not, you know, younger than that. So I mean, I think it was both of our dream, but only one. How do I say this? It was both of our dream, but only one vision got seen at the, you know, before the others. You know. Respect. I get it. One of y'all, cause I think y'all balance each other out well, cause it seems that you're the more dominant. And he's the more, is that correct? <laughs> yeah. But it seems like you bring the fun out of it. You you make sure that you guys don't like not like it. Yes, because you're always going to find the fun in it. I can see that in your spirit. Like You're always going to find the lighterness of it. You're always going to be like, well, it's okay. Am yeah, I right? Yes, I can feel that in you. I feel that in you. And I feel like you, yeah, I see that. I feel that in y'all. <laughs> y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all balance each other out, though. See, so it's okay. Because you make him, you, he makes you get more serious. And you make him kind of chill out. A little bit, exactly. yeah. So that's good. <laughs> that's good. Y'all can pipe each other down like that. That's good. Or pipe each other up. You know, yeah. that's a blessing. Cause you know that's typically what people try to find in other people. But y'all got that right with each other. Like that's super dope. That's that is. That's super dope. So I know y'all are special just for that gift alone. You know, y'all that's special. <laughs> okay, so um, do you think that? Um, you guys being twins separate you from the other uh, groups of your age range or either other groups that you are even like comparing yourselves to? Do you think that's your red apple, some people say, the thing that makes you stick out? I, or no? I think it does because being a twin, I think um, being a twin leads to having a deeper connection with somebody. And like, mm-hmm. probably, I would say, yeah. yeah. We got that chemistry that yeah. can't nobody else have. Like, I mess up on the word. He know I'm gonna mess on. He know I'm gonna mess up on it before I do. Exactly. <laughs> oh, so that is true about twins. That's yeah. dope. <laughs> hey, come on now. Y'all got a little to the left, but there. That's it right here. Oh, that's dope. Oh, y'all got. I got a lot of stuff going on over here. Y'all can. Y'all are forced to be reckoned with. I'm trying to tell you. People better walk like with y'all. <laughs> oh, okay. So is R and B the genre of music that you chose, or is it the genre of music that you kind of fit in? Do you get what I'm asking, or do I need to say it another way? I get what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I think, yeah, I got it. Uh, <laughs> I think, well, for me, I think for both of us, kind of like, if I'm wrong, then let me know before <laughs> I think. But uh, R&B, I think it's something that was always around us, so obviously it got a little force on you. But okay. at the end of the day, we still had a chance to do gospel growing up in the church. So you got two options. Which one do you want to pick? I mean, I think we went with what we wanted to, honestly. What, you what think? about you? He? You're right. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, we had an option to do gospel, and we still do. The world is not over. Our career isn't over, and I don't think it's going to be. But, uh, yeah, we still, I mean, we still got an option, and we still can do it. I think in the future, that's what, I mean, I think we'll lead back to it at some point. But yeah. R&B and gospel won't push each other out the way. Respect. I get it. I get it. Thank you. So while we're talking about music, we're going to go ahead and listen to one of these dope R&B hits out now. Listen, baby. Make sure I say it right. Mm. It ain't love change. 
Love on replay. <laughs> Love on replay, baby. Y'all, y'all want to say anything else about the song before I say before we play it? Uh, no. <laughs> you want to drop something before we drop it? Y'all want to drop something? What you want? What you want to say? I don't know. You got it. Go ahead and just say it. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what to say. Okay, well, you don't got to say it. Tell us a little bit about the song. Okay. Dang. A little bit about the song since I since I started yeah, writing it. I'm, I'm going to say it. All right. I say too much. So, uh, <laughs> basically, I was in my room. Nighttime. <laughs> Got a dope produce, a producer and Lindsay, you know, when you when you make this one. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking in my head while I'm writing it. When did she make this? Because it's like, dang, this is good. This is great beat. Yeah, I, I mean I'm picking it I was picking it out with my cousin Dinky. We was in the living room, she was playing him. And Dinky was like, Bruh, you better get that beat before Quan get it. Cause you know if Quan get it, <laughs> Quan's our manager, he's a rapper, so he's like, Quan get it. He's like, before Quan gets it, you need to get it. So we chose the beat, we got it. Went home maybe like I think it was like Friday, so we was leaving to go back home. So I got home, I laid in my bed, and then and the words just started coming to me. I was I don't even know I can't tell people how I wrote it. It just started coming to me. You ain't had no parts of this one. Huh? You just sang this one. Huh? I wrote my verse. Yeah, he wrote, he wrote his hey, verse. Okay, so what inspired you to write your verse? His verse. His verse. <laughs> exactly. Okay, come on. I like you. Keep it playing with me. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Okay. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't. I still try to figure out to this day how did I write that song. <laughs> Cause I really want to know. Cause I don't know. I can't remember what my mindset was. Cause I didn't have a girlfriend at the time. I think it's just. I don't know. Oh yeah, cause that was the next question. But I'm gonna wait till after the song came off. Cause whew, these lyrics. Come on, come on, play the song for me. Cause I'm gonna ask the next question. Yes, I am. Love on replay next to. Hey, listen. Yeah, on my mind, I think of you and everything that you say. I think of us and what we do. It's like our love's on replay. You in my head before I go to bed. I always pray for you and know this love is true. I can't get you out of my mind. Cause we ain't together. I be getting mad sometimes. But I ain't stressed. I know that I'm the boy that you like. I know we ain't together. It's gon' take some time. We stay up together. Face time like all night You said that it would be better If I was holding you tight I'll take it as a joke You know my mind ain't right Now that I think about it That would be one good night You're on my mind I think of you and everything that you say I think of us and what we do It's like our love's on replay You in my head before I go to bed I always pray for you And girl, this love is true when I fell in love with you, I wasn't tripping. I knew love, but you gave me a new definition. Ain't never met a girl like you, it's something different. My heart is broken, you're the one that can fix it. I like you when I got life, is any reasons. I want you in my life, don't need you leaving you. My boo, my baby girl, and my princess. The only girl that has all my attention. You're on my mind, I think of you and everything that you say I think of us and what we do, it's like our love's on replay You in my head before I go to bed I always pray for you, and girl, this love is true You're on my mind like all the time, you'll be like Bonnie and Clyde Put you before the mother girls because I know you gon' ride And we gon' have our ups and downs, but at the end of the day you my only princess and that's the way it's gon' stay We just might fight and scream But that don't take away the fact that you're still my queen Gonna be there forever, got my back through whatever Like rains and storms and at the end of the day I want you in my arms Man, I really like this girl It's like she been in my mind like all day I feel you bro, she been in my mind all day too I guess that's why they call it love a replay That was love on replay. That next two. Woo-hoo. I love these guys. This is a dope interview, y'all. I wish I could have heard who we were talking about while the song was playing. But listen, I love these young men. So look, I was asking him a little bit about the lyrics to the song. And he was, oh. You want me to say it? Yeah, you can say it. Uh, yeah, so the the part where it's like, um, you're on my mind like all the time. Yeah, we like buying the car. I just, when I wrote that, I had to, you're on my mind like all the time. Yeah, we... I didn't know what I was going to say. We like something, something. I was like, dang, what am I going to say? And, I, and like prior to writing that song, 
I mean, you always hear about the Bonnie and Clyde story. So I was like, okay, let's see. You know, my mom, like, all the time, yeah, we like Bonnie and Clyde. I was like, I don't even know who that is, though. <laughs> so I had to look it up, and I seen, I think, if I'm right, or maybe I looked up something wrong. But I seen Bonnie and Clyde, I seen the whole crash and all that, and it's white people. So I was like, you know, let's put it in the song. <laughs> That's dope. It seemed, it, seemed, it seemed good. It was like, it just fit. It just fit. So I liked it. Yeah, it did fit. Yeah. If y'all hear me talking about Bonnie and Clyde some more and some more music, then don't be surprised because you like it. You that's, like that's my favorite couple now. Some of my first songs. So yeah. Okay, but you gotta be careful because their destiny was a death. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want the Bonnie yeah, and Clyde yeah. love, baby. You gotta be careful. Just talk about speaking life now. Don't speak that over yourself. Yes, ma'am. You don't want that one, baby. It's fun while it's thrilling, but when you die, it ain't no fun in that. Yeah. You want to live longevity. Yes, okay, man. baby. Don't do that. Now, yes, but I love it, though. I mean, you can use it as a little reference, but you don't want to use all them references now. Yeah. Oh, be careful. Yeah, be careful. Don't have no... Look, I'm going to tell you this. Both of y'all. Don't have no couple goals. That is trash. <laughs> that is a lie. That is fictitious. Don't be letting these people tell y'all to have no couple goals. These people... You don't know what they had to do to keep this goal, okay? Mm. Don't want other people's stuff, okay? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to drop this jewel. Please take this one. Don't want other people's stuff. Just want what you want. Try to find out what you like. So you can say, that's what I like. Don't want, don't have a couple. Don't do that one. We ain't gonna do that. That's no good. Okay. So I want to know because y'all lyrics are so dope and mature, right? How did y'all pick? I know with this particular song, but how like y'all have love? All of your songs on this album, right? Is about love because this is love story, correct? Yes, the name of the album is Love Story. Tell them where y'all can get it from, right quick. Go ahead, man. Apple Music, Spotify, Apple SoundCloud, Music, Spotify. YouTube. Everywhere, basically. <laughs> you just heard go, Just go look for it. You'll find it. Yeah. Everywhere. You heard <laughs> I love it. Come on. So, what? What have y'all been in relationships that make y'all want to be in love? Do you want love? Like, what is it? Talk to me. Because I, I want to know. I think in the middle of the EP, it's, it's definitely both. Like, not being in relationships and messing with girls, like, you get a different experience and a different type of love when you mess with a different type of person. So, I think... Me- like you know having a relationship with the girl and then like the, listen to the music we listen to i mean when you listen to a whole bunch of r&b you kind of learn how to write a song if you if you listen to a certain amount of it you kind of learn like okay this is where i put the heartbreak part and then if i want to make a plot twist then i'll put it in the bridge I was, okay so i'm like yeah Okay, mad scientist over here. I love it. You in the lamp. i love the way your mind <laughs> is whirling and twirling i like that about you though sir yeah. Go ahead. What you gonna say? What was the question? Um, how did you get the uh the drive for the love? Uh, uh, being around love, having a lot of love around you. Mm. Uh, dope. And giving love. Yeah, that's. Because when you said being around a lot of love, <laughs> I want to, I want to like add on to that because like you can like write about. Being a writer, you can write about something, but put it put it into the way you want to. So it's like I'm like making a fiction story Facts. out of a like a not a non fiction story. So it's like taking like the way I love my brother. You know, I can write a song and say, "We figure out some lyrics real quick." Uh oh, freestyling on T spills, baby. Hey. Lyrics, um, <laughs> dang, hold on, let me let me think. You need me to give you a beat? Nah, I got oh, it. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. I got you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so for instance, you were saying basically how you can use, how you can use a relationship, but make it a song, song. make it a song, make like it switching song. around. So basically, okay, like you said, you're my brother. Well, I'm your brother. You said that. Okay, okay. So we spend it. We spend like we we've been together our whole life. So like something like, um, I can't imagine life without you. I don't know what I would do without you. Or like. Something like that. Something yeah, like that. I, don't I know. see you. You're so, adding the gears. It's like taking somebody's love in a different relationship, but flipping it into a girlfriend and boyfriend type. If I, I if I can't if I could think and wasn't on you know a writer's block right now, at this moment <laughs> I would I would actually freestyle and try to figure out something to kind of. You know, I'm going to come back to it. Yeah, but he you. did. He did. Look, he did it for you, though. He, he, dropped, nah, he, tried, he dropped two last. I got to. You know, though. you want to do about two balls. Nah, nah. I, I feel it. <laughs> nah, it's nah, okay, nah. baby. Go ahead and get those two balls together and spit them on down, baby. We yeah. ready. We got, we got it. We got it for you. Now, because I can, but I can relate, though, because I'm a poet, right? Sure. So, 
Um, I play around with rapping and freestyling and stuff, but I have never said I'm a rapper or nothing, but I am a poet. So I get it because you could take, I've never experienced certain love that I've wrote about. However, it's the kind of love that I want and desire. So I get exactly what you mean that you're not having to go through it. I just wanted to know for y'all being so young, did y'all have all these little love situations going on? I am just being those. <laughs> I wanted to know the business. It's, it's, it's called tea spills. I'm going to give a cup of tea. That's all. Love. Oh, okay, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Come on, talk to me. Uh, what you got? Like say something like, uh, can't stand it when you're not around, brother. I need you in my life. I know we have our ups. Oh, I, I know we have our ups and downs. Can't stand it when you're not around, brother. I need you in my life. But then, if you want to make it for a girl, uh, what did I say just now? Dang. Um, darling, I need you in my life. Can't stand it when you're not can't around. Can't stand it when you're not around, baby. I need you in my life. You get? Yeah. So it's like taking. What I wrote about him or that relationship, put it for a girl. <laughs> Look at him. He quick on the tweet, too. He said, no, nah, we ain't going to wait for a turnaround, baby. We're going to come right back on it. Yeah. Come on. I love it. I love it. You better. All right. See, I like when you see. They were showing y'all how they create right here. They put y'all in the lab just a little bit. Let y'all see how the creative juices are flowing. Okay? So, you got to catch up. All right. Oh, big shout out to my sponsor, Malika TBD, baby. Thank you for sponsoring me. Envy Cuts. Go out there. Get your head fried, your wig slayed, your do laid, baby. Come back. <laughs> Okay, okay, Western Branch Boulevard. Woo -woo. All right, all right. Power by Virginia is sponsoring the whole event because that's what they do. Power by Virginia is what powers me. We in here with in next to. Sorry, I got too excited. Next to. <laughs> Michael and Matthew, mm -hmm. these wholesome young men, these kings with one vision, two kings and one vision. So, um, I got a question. I was trying to wait, but I know it's a question. Do you ever feel pressure due to your relations to KC and JoJo? Yeah, we got that question before. So <laughs> it's it's kind of easy, but we can answer it a different way for you. Uh, it's okay, whatever you way. Do it or me? You, you ain't getting enough talking yet. Go ahead. Oh, uh, come on, Matthew. Okay. Hey. At times it can be because, um, I mean, not really, but it is like you always have a thought in the back of your head, like those are my uncles type thing. But it's not really like pressure to me. What's that? Yeah, like you get the sense, like you you get it when it's like, dang, those are my uncles. I gotta kind, of, I gotta try to like do better than them, or at least live up to how famous they got, how big they got, what they did with their music, but. I mean, at the same time, two kings, one vision. But it's not two kings with somebody else's vision. So hey, I mean, we cool. gotta we gotta go in our you know our own bag. Fast, I like that. And y'all can take that two kings, one vision. I know you like that a lot. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead yeah. and take that. Just you know, get T spills a little shit out. You know, the moment y'all go ahead yeah. on the big screen, say yo T spills. You know, that's all you gotta do for me, baby. Make feel good. Make an old lady feel good. That's right. Look. Um, so how is the music business, um, on your personal life? Because like you having to come here doing a lot of traveling and stuff like that. How does that fit on your personal life as a teenager? Uh, right now, we, I mean, we supposed to be in school right now, but <laughs> I mean, with, with us, we know like with school, we can always make up work and all that. So I'm like, before we leave, we'll probably school, you know, we'll ask our teachers like, what work do we do on Wednesday and Thursday when we're not going to be there? They give it to us, and then we'll probably either we'll do it now or we'll do it when we get back. But just to have a head count of what we need to do and to, you know, get back on track. But it's pretty, I mean, it's not hard because we love it. We love music. Sometimes you want to be out of school, so it don't really, it don't really, stress, it don't really stress us that much. But it is it's definitely a commitment, and, you know, but we, we ready. We born ready for it. So what you got to say, man? I was just going to say, it's not hard because we don't have nothing to do, really. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's got to show Other up. Other than huh? music in school. Yeah. Oh, music in school. Oh, that's dope. Uh, enjoy these last couple of years, y'all. It's about to change <laughs> up and get real, real. You hear me? So enjoy this. Like, go ahead and slide through. Yeah, enjoy all of this. All of this. All of this. Don't even. I'm talking about every single day. Just find something to enjoy about it. Even when you, it don't even seem that good. That's and right. this is easy right here. You hear me? Huh, three more years? Oh, baby, that's when it get real, real. And then when you got, like, five more years, it get extra <laughs> real. Yeah, so enjoy this. This is beautiful right here. Yeah, it's just work. I mean, just school mm -hmm. and music. 
But see, by then, y'all gonna be already popping because y'all already popping. Listen, next two, y'all better check them out on Spotify, Apple, uh, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere that you dare. If you dare, they dare. You understand me? They is on every platform you own, baby. You better come on and tap into them. You better. So, um, do you feel you have, um, well, y'all kind of did answer this, but I guess I'll make it more direct. Do y'all feel like you have like a normal childhood? For yeah. sure. I, ooh, no. To a, so, Look, go ahead, explain yourself. For me. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. For us, I don't think it's, yeah, we have a normal childhood to me. I don't think our management or our team, our parents, our dad would let us not enjoy our childhood and like take music too serious. Cause at certain times, um, we probably can like take music too serious. And my dad would cut that out for real, for real. Cause <laughs> if it's too much of something Big that we, if it's too much of something that we shouldn't be doing, or like if it's too much of something that we're always focused on, he'll make us like simmer it down. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think we got a, we got a, a normal childhood. It's, it's not as normal as the regular kid on a daily basis just going saying. to school and going back home because we are those next two boys. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say the other way. I say. <laughs> but we, 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 we next two and I mean, ain't nobody. Well, say it, but don't say it because you can't Yeah, we next two, so I mean, ain't nobody like us. So we doing it, we doing it differently. We doing it the hard way, in our way. So I think, I think. With that being said, like, yeah, people got that go to school, come back home. But now we got that go to we got that go to school, come back home, go to the studio, maybe go to the studio, shoot a video, go to the studio, shoot a video, then do an interview, like, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. So, do you think that you guys' lifestyle now is setting you up for um, a good career in the business because you are learning? Like, it seems like y'all do a lot of planning, like y'all do a lot of uh, managing your time, like you guys do a lot of uh, preparing. Because, like, even when you were saying coming from school or whatever, and you how you got your papers and things like that, just to gauge what you even the, the fact that you're thinking about that, yeah. to gauge what you got to do, what's coming up. I like that. It got about you guys. So, um, I forgot the question. Um, I just got to give y'all all the accolades because y'all are like super dope, like super, Thank super you. dope. I knew y'all were going to be dope, but I didn't know y'all were going to be this. So, <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. like y'all really know. <laughs> I love y'all. Y'all so dope. I've got to get y'all to come back again. Yes, or I'm going to come down here or something. Sure. Do a pull up on you. Yes, cup of tea or something. You hear me? Because y'all really dope. I really like y'all. And let me know. Y'all got some concerts or events or anything coming up? We got a lot coming up. Oh, well, we got to talk to the people, baby. Let's talk to them. Dan, can we, what can we say? What can we not say? Video yeah. Okay, come on. Talk, tell them. <laughs> got a video dropping. What's the video and when is it dropping? And where can we drop it? I mean, get it at. The single, Our Love. Huh? Um, Our Love. Single, Our Love for the uh, EP is coming. The uh, music video for it is coming out pretty soon. I think September 25th, if I'm not wrong. September 25th? Yeah. Yep. And, you know, you're going to get it on YouTube. You're going to get it somewhere else. But but okay, yeah, you gonna you gonna you gonna definitely see it somewhere. I can't say what screen it's gonna be on, but it's gonna be on the screen. Yeah, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> my bad. We 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 we'll scratch that. Listen, if you wanna know they handle, so you can know what events they got coming up, come on and meet them at. What is the what's your Instagram, baby? Next, wait, personal or music? the one for the group? I guess next two underscore music. And yeah, and next two. NX2 underscore music. And you know how to spell that. If you don't, can't help you. <laughs> yeah, NX2 underscore music. You heard him. He said, make it play, baby. And all about understanding, get understanding. And you heard a young man. Talk to him, prophet. I hear you. All right. So, what we're going to say, um, <laughs> you heard him. And what's the other handle they can hit you on? All of it is next. <laughs> all of it is next to. <laughs> Look, y'all, we look. I got no week back here, y'all. Y'all know I'm just me. You know how I am, y'all. This is just a tea spills thing, but that because it's great energy. Like you, young guys, got dope energy. It's it Mama is NX two underscore music. Thank you, Ma. Big shout out to my Mama. Mama, click and provide on the ones and twos. Whoop, whoop. Always supporting me. 
Okay, and big shout out to the entourage. Listen, the whole gang, the staff, I don't want to call y'all the entourage. I don't know if that's disrespectful or not. But the whole staffing system, y'all, oh, the staff, because they got on shirts, baby. They official, the staff, darling, and the loved ones, okay? And big shout out to y'all, though, for real. Y'all are super dope. And the security for making me feel very safe, even though I don't know if feel no type of way, but I feel even extra secure. Well, I want a person that's trying. I can't say what I want to say. I wish a person would. You understand? That's all I'm going to say, muscle. Because you <laughs> he got, I wish y'all could sing him, y'all. He got me over there feeling real secure. You understand? Then we got the daddy of the year, the father of the year over here in the quarter. Father, come on up here and show your face. In the quarter. Oh, He's in the quarter. Come on, darling. Off the quarter. Come on over here. Show your face, dad. Right, hey. Right. Come on. I'm going to tell you when you're up there. You got to get in a little bit closer. Come closer. <laughs> this is the father of the two young men right here next to woo -woo. he's a great dad y'all see he got he got to be good these young men are something else you understand me they are something good y'all better check out for him on all the platforms oh management come on management you better <laughs> oh he said yeah. he's good i got a photographer over here too Barbie. come Let's on go. Oh, hey, <laughs> photographer. Oh, the photographer. She said she ain't got time for S and I foolery. She said she just want to take her pictures, darling. That's all. And hey, that's okay, baby. Take a picture then. Come on. Come on. Take a picture then. Hey. Look, man, like. You know you're wrong for that. <laughs> I know. She's terrible. Cute. She got everybody in the screens. Come on, baby. Say hello to the people. Woo woo. Hey, I like her. Hey. Oh, my bad. Hold on. We're taking pictures. Oh, they were taking pictures. Oh. Hey, y'all. I gotta put my little like out. It's them. It's all them. They know y'all. Don't delicious. Oh, look. How does it feel to have a great support team or a support system? Because you have a whole squad. Squad. It feels great. Not everybody got somebody right there for them every step of the way. So, you know. Big shout out to the squad. Because I do understand how big a support system is. That really does mean a lot. So, big shout out to the squad for real. I'm laughing. I'm joking. I'm playing. But that's serious business to the squad. Okay? Mm -hmm. And they all on their job, too. Camera lady been over here cameraing the whole mm -hmm. time, baby. That camera is cameraing. Okay? <laughs> I hope you got my good angle. I hope you ain't seen when it's been. Girl, she over there cameraing. You hear me? Okay. Next to. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Let me see. I do have another question. See, I got so excited. Ooh, I got really excited. I was really excited for y'all to come here. I was acting like I'm a uh, a little Dipsy fan, ain't I? I was just so excited. I can't help it. Y'all are so dope. Um, I really thank y'all so much. Oh, yeah, they came all the way from Charlotte, North Carolina. We got to say that again because that's not a small deal. That's a major deal. I appreciate y'all for coming such a long way. That is so dope. And when I talk about um, what what's the, what's the um, EP that's about to come out? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, EP is out already, but uh, the video is about to come out. I love. I love. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so do y'all want to introduce I love? How did y'all make I love? Isn't that the last song? Yes, oh, I know exactly how we made it. Oh, talk nah, about I, it. You want oh. us? Because we, it's a joint song. Let her do it. It's, it's a, I'm but start. You do a line, it. I do a line. You do a line. I like the song. You're the boss. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, basically, our love. Uh, <laughs> came together when it was either he was bored because he like he likes to write non-stop i have to have times where i write but he just matt come on let's write the song i'm like bro it. chill out we're gonna get to it man the beat ain't going nowhere man. <laughs> so okay so he in the room i think he called me upstairs to write the song and i'm like i don't want to do this today like leave me alone please but i'm sharing a room with him at the time so i have to be in there so <laughs> i just go ahead and start the, start writing the song so I'm sitting on the um the dresser and he playing the beat off the TV and we just going back and forth, going back and forth. And probably within like, nah. cause you ain't say it right. Oh my God. Cause listen, God. <laughs> cause listen it's the, cause, so it's like, it's the summertime. So we got a lot of time to do whatever we want to. So we in the room, whatever. And cause you ain't start from the beginning. You kind of, I'm gonna let you come back. Right. So basically we in there and we listen to the beat and with our separate minds, how we write, how we write, how we wrote before that song is, you write a big chunk, I write a big chunk, then we bring it together, that's his verse, that's my verse, then we get the hook together. That's not how this case went. He wrote what he wrote, I wrote what I wrote. We was like, dang, that sound good. But it don't need to be separate. So the way we are, we play around, 
hear the beat. We act so when we when we actually wrote this song, we act like we act like we was performing it. I remember I had like a pencil or something in my hand, and we was still we had a little stool, so we was stepping on act like we was yelling to the crowd. It was it was fun, but uh, <laughs> okay. it was extra fun. But you know, uh, you know, he had his stuff, I had my stuff, and we broke it up. So I was like, bro, let's try. Who said who try who said that? Was it me or you? I think I feel like I got I got a good guess. It was. I, don't I know. think it was a joint decision. It was a joint decision keep to break. Keep keep so we had our, we already had our lines. We had like five. He had like five lines. I had like five lines. So what we did was we broke it up. So that's why he said, "Our love is something I can't explain." When we get together, all the pain it goes away. Yeah, I love you and I think about you every day. Cause it's already here whenever. So it's like it broke mm-hmm. up, but it came from them five lines we made by ourselves. So that's how that's how our love came to be. Hey, okay, our love. So while we introduce our love, let's go ahead and listen to our love, baby, because it's definitely all love with our love. <laughs> Next to whoop, whoop. drop the beat. DJ. Hey, Lizzie, when you make this, our love is something I can't explain. Cause when we get together, all the pain it goes away. Girl, I love you when I think about you every day Girl, this love right here will never ever fade away oh, yeah. I knew you were the one when I looked in your eyes This is a love story, we skipped it once upon a time Ain't been a sip in a minute before you, that would change forever I had a lot of flames and it's the one to stand to weather Forever, good, you got me on my phone like it's a tether Girl, love blows me away just like a feather I'm loving this and all the time that we share And you to other girls, you know I can't compare because you're something different Show me love from day one And you stay consistent Yeah Yeah You came into my life And made, made all things right I'm loving having you by my side To ride You came into my life And made, made all things Something to feel You know that when I'm loving you I'm loving for real It wasn't hard for me to put them other girls to the side Cause you're the only one I really need in my life Cause you're something different Show me love from day when you stay Our story, right? Uh, our love, our love. Our love, my fault. That would've been hard, too. Oh, I know. Well, there you go. Y'all like that? Our story. Ah, y'all like that? <laughs> we a good collaboration. I'm trying to tell you. Whoop, whoop. Look, he writing it down. He said, up. Oh, that's writing it down in the, in the repertoire. I'll put that in the repertoire. I love it. Y'all never wrong with putting it in the repertoire. I put it in there. Like I said, just give me the shout out on the stage. That's all I need. At every city, T spills. You know? That's all I need, baby. I don't need much. I don't require a whole bunch, love. Love. Um, so, you know, um, is there anything else that maybe I didn't ask you guys that you would like the people to know? Mm. Before I ask my last questions, I want to give you some free range. Or is there anything that maybe no one's asked you, period? Because I know that I'm not your first interview. Y'all boys are on fire. Everybody trying to get a piece of you. <laughs> so, what is a question that maybe you would like somebody to ask that maybe we haven't asked? I don't know. I just want to know that. I just want everybody to know that our love was not finished. We rushed through the whole thing, and it was not how I wanted it. And like I said <laughs> in the beginning of the interview, you know, it was you know, one little percent off. I'm not. I'm not happy. But the the um the our love that's supposed to be back in the, at the end. But it's okay though, because when we perform it, y'all actually see how it's supposed to be. But you know what though? That's why you always can do a remix. You understand? So if you don't like the way something happens the first time, you just remix it. Yeah. Skirt, skirt, skirt. That's it. And then a quick fix. 
Look quick fix. It's okay. Also, we got we got some music cooking up in the lab. Okay. And it's it's way better than this whole EP. So I want y'all to be ready for it. And we, we definitely showing vocals and range on this new little whatever y'all wanna call it. We ain't, <laughs> we ain't gonna we ain't gonna It ain't call no little we ain't nothing. Gonna, we ain't, yes, ma'am. It's no little nothing. Yes, ma'am. And we're not going to keep downplaying what you already done. Yes, you put hard work, blood, sweat, tears in this, hours, mm-hmm. yes, sacrifices. You don't never downplay yourself. Mm-hmm. Even if it's not up to part of where you think, you don't never downplay yourself because it took it is a piece of you, right? Yes, ma'am. It has some meaning behind it, right? Yes, ma'am. So stand on it. If you want to do better, you do better, but don't downplay what you already got. Yes, I'm learning to do that, but it's just something I, I, I know that can change the trajectory of your life. And you don't want to keep putting yourself down because, again, the power of life and death is in your soul. Mm. You got to be careful of what you speak over yourself. It ain't no little nothing. Yes. You big everything. Or don't say to put no um, adjective in front of it. Just let it be simple and plain in. Yes, but no little. Okay? Like you that. too, man. And speak up, man. Because you got a lot to say, too. I need you to be saying it, okay? <laughs> okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay to step up sometimes. Hear me. I got you. I, got I know you don't like it. But sometimes you got to be out of your comfortable space. So that you can be stretched. Mm. So you can reach your next level of elevation. You won't you won't desire for the background. Got you, got you. you got the same energy. <laughs> it's just gonna be at a lower level. You still gonna be real suave with it. You know what I'm talking about? You're gonna still be suave with it. But you can stop up. It's all right. He don't say nothing away from his shine. He gonna keep your head. Don't worry. If you go out, he gonna go out there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you ain't gotta worry about that. Got you. Step that thing up, okay? That's yeah, right. Like, mm. Do that. Okay? I see it in you. Do it. <laughs> Right. Okay, y'all. This is where I go down on T-Spears. Y'all know this who I am. You got to drop the Jews. Whenever you can drop the Jews, you got to love on people. You got to speak into their life. You got to speak life into people. You never know what opportunity you may get. This may be your own opportunity. Got to seize that thing. I just, I may always been shy of Brandon Sutton. Brandon Sutton. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but guess what, Brandon? And you, and you right. I feel you. But guess what? He going to change that. He ain't got no choice. He got to come up from out that seat. That ain't no longer his seat. Yeah. That season is over. You know? He got people. He going to have fans. You're going to have all the fans. You, they going to want to talk to you. <laughs> you got to be able to talk back. You got to say, hey. You, you going to miss your opportunity now. You going to be able to on that back. I can going to take that. <clears throat> Yeah. Let's go back. He ain't gonna put me off. He gonna say, "No, nah, you ain't never going back there. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't never going back there." <laughs> Look, and I want y'all to come back. So, um, did, go ahead. Am I cutting? No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. Okay, um, I'm ready. Did I cut you off? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So, um, the next, the, I think this was like my last question for you guys. Unless you want to just build about something or whatever, because I think we gotta wrap it up in a way. I'm not really sure what's happening is because we was all off. I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh no, we gotta. Okay, so um, what direction do you want to take? Because I heard you say you got some music brewing and you're going to stretch yourself in this next um, this next project. So where do you see or what do you want or what do you expect like for this next project to look like? Because we know what uh, Love Story looks like. Sure. So let, what, what is going to be the next phase into that? Um, Cause I see love was the was the basis of this one. So are you gonna do like another theme like that, or are you just gonna if y'all can talk about it, whatever y'all can talk about? Okay. Um, yeah. Love story. Okay. So it's it's probably like okay. Say you have a show. First season was love story. Second season. We don't know what it would be, but okay. So all the songs that we have now that we've been recording the thing. It's a, it's like a mixture between love, heartbreak, and happiness. I guess you could say that. Oh yeah. I, so yeah. I bet I guess it would be telling like a throughout the whole project. It would be telling a story. Like it's like a storyline. Like we got we got a love story, but now we got a a love life type. You know. Yeah. What about the story? No, I'm just like, hey, y'all hear me throwing out all the little James. What about <laughs> true story? Hey. But uh, <laughs> I think with this one, it's just showing different. Like different perspectives of yes. love, like the first, yeah, like the first one, it showed happy love, but not all love is happy. Yeah. So let's do, <laughs> let's do something uh better, and let's try to, you know, get to every audience, cause somewhere it's some man crying right now over a girl, then in another city it's a man that's about to get married. So let's make a song for him so he can play at his wedding. Let's make a song for that man that's crying that he can cry more to get all his feelings <laughs> out, get all his emotion out, make him happy after that. 
facts. I like that. Okay. I told y'all they'd be in the lab now. Look, you heard the girls. Always moving. Y'all, I'm telling you. So, did y'all ever, like, is music, uh, being a singer, is that it? it is that like the end or do you think maybe you might want to be a producer? Cause I know y'all write songs as well, but, um, is that the only aspect? Do you ever want to like be a producer or a manager or on a company, a record label, anything like that? Have you ever thought about anything like that? I Miss mean, I think the way our management and the way our dad, the way our management whole team is teaching us is, you know, you don't got to sing your life. You don't got to waste that beautiful voice box the whole time. <laughs> you could be someone writing, you know, Matt could be in the studio singing. I'd be in a whole different city or state writing some songs for Akon or, you know, writing a song for somebody. Just, But just, you know, making our our bread a different way and, you know, expanding the way we, you know, do it. Mm-hmm. Yes, man. That's right, though. You got something to add to that, Matt? He do. What was I about to say? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a uh, Yeah, yes, yes. Um, I think for me, well, for both of us, probably I would like other than singing, I would do writing because I I write a lot of songs. Like I don't know, I told my uncle like a couple months ago, I had like thirty seven songs that I wrote, and I never like I haven't put none none of, none of the verses on a song. Yeah, and it's still in my phone. I don't use them because I don't like them for real, for real. But I just because I don't like them doesn't mean somebody else can't use them. Yeah, so I can just give it to somebody else or like yeah basically or revamp them yeah because you know sometimes when we write i don't know if writing songs is like writing poetry it's like the rough version yes, you know so sometimes with some of my poems i take certain i might take maybe five lines out of a poem and put with something else that i was writing and then freestyle off of that or because like what you say sometimes it don't flow good you're like yes. why did i say that or i really don't like that but sometimes you say hot stuff like it might be a hot hook or it might be a hot bar you don't want to throw that hot bar away you might got you got 37 songs i'm quite sure you got 37 hot bars that's a whole nother song that's just one bar from each song you see what i'm saying so before you give your stuff away i'm not saying that to do it because you can sell it and make money so hey hey we'll give me some <laughs> i like the way you're thinking <laughs> but if you if you but it but for the ones and you can still say it on man it's a bar that's still the song yes. you know so, and then you can still collect your own song. You get what I'm saying? Just revamp it or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? It takes time to go through that stuff and dissect it that way. But, I mean, it's doable. That's Maybe true. you might have to put it on a uh, print it out so you can see it, visualize it, instead of having it in your phone. Because that's kind of more difficult doing it like that. But, yeah, just a little tidbit. Like, again, like I was telling him, if you did it, you... It, it, the thing about artistry, right, is no right or wrong. Like, there's a wrong note to hit and things like that. But I'm talking about the creative aspect. It's really no right or wrong. It's just in what crowd are you trying to touch? What is your market? Like, with anything you're selling, what is your, what is your target market? What is your soft and what is your cold one? That's further details. But it, you, 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 you pick based on that. So, um, you may have wrote something that you may not like, but that's from a 15-year-old perspective. You get what I'm saying? Like what you were saying. Somebody else might like it, but it's a part of you, though. So, rock with it. I don't think that have that chance. I think everything have purpose. It may just not be the purpose yet. Hold on to them because it might later come into a time where it fits perfectly in a, a, a project you're doing or yes, something man. you're trying to sell or whatever. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I don't know. I think really guard your material because it's yours. Like, content is valuable. It's priceless. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning how to try to market my own content because your content is you. Yes, man. That's your brand. Your content, your voice, your, you 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 write songs, your lyrics. They, that's your content. You know what I'm saying? Own that. Yeah. That's 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 your money. You like, know? When Love and Replay was first made, we wrote we wrote it all the way through. Well, I, I when I had my first part, I went home and I wrote it. I brought it back to my manager, I brought it back to my dad. And when I sung it, I was sing, I was singing it literally just for my manager here. Nobody else. And then we was playing the beat. And then as soon as I started singing it, you know, my mom, like, all the time, and all that, like, everybody started coming in the room, like, whoa, what is that? And it was like, that's, that's good. But then once we start, like, actually going deep into the lyrics, it's like, oh, you got to take some some stuff out. Because, it, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't made right. But like she said, you can always change stuff and make it better. Yeah. And that's that's exactly what they did. Because it was some stuff, and I said too many words, couldn't breathe. Or it was just some stuff that was like going off topic, and they they took it right out, and they made it what it is today. And I'm thankful for that. Yeah.
big shout out to the squad yeah. team. All right. Um, I think I got one more question for y'all. I didn't forget it. Look, y'all got so much. Good y'all so dope, though. <laughs> I keep saying it, but y'all really are. I can't help it. I got to give you praises. I ain't going to see you again for a Thank while, you. I know. So I got to, you know, <laughs> enjoy the moment, you know, because it's a beautiful moment. Um, who would you like to collaborate with? Mm. And that could be different for both of you. I got it. Number one for me would be Chris Brown. Okay, that's my number one. My two, uh, I want to say Justin Bieber, but I don't want to say Justin Bieber. You can say him. You can say a little bit. You can give me fat things because okay, you okay, got a okay. couple because I know it was all for you. Come on, I got you. Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> like, I can't get one. Hmm. Hmm. He say Usher every time. Oh, I would like to do a song with Trippy Red. Uh, oh, Usher. <laughs> That's a good person, though. Uh, yeah. True Red Heart. And Dirk. Everybody oh. know Dirk is my favorite artist. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll be dope. Okay. Okay. What about you? Uh, everybody know what I'm about to say. Um, everybody looking at me like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they know who it is. J- Jamie Foxx. <laughs> Jamie Foxx, please. Uh, yeah, when I get famous, I'm saying for that, man. I'm going to sing for that, man. For real, for real. Can you play? He talk. <laughs> Listen, fun fact. I'm, I'm going to say this. And, like I said, that's day I'm going uh, when when I didn't really know, I I was singing at first when I was a kid, and you know I was just small. I really I had I couldn't do runs like I could do them now, but like I seen the Jamie Foxx show on TV, and he would be singing, so I'm like, dang, he keep on singing. So I went on YouTube. I I Google. I I not nah, go on YouTube and Google. I went on YouTube and searched up um Jamie Foxx singing compilations or whatever, mm-hmm. and when I looked it up. I seen a whole bunch of videos of him singing. So what I would do is I would come home straight from school. I would watch that video, and whatever he'd do, I'd try it. And he'd do a new run. He'd do a run in one of the videos. And right after that, I'll go home. I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna try this run. And that whole week, I studied that whole run, and I, I won't stop until I get it. And then as soon as I got that run, <laughs> I'm gonna go to the other one he did. I'm and then now he do a falsetto. So okay, let me try. Let me try. I didn't know the falsetto at the time, but he did a high note. So let me do a high note, and I'm gonna study that all week, and I'm gonna get it. You know, and then now when I'm singing, I just kind of do stuff he do. So I like imitate him a little bit. But <laughs> no, it definitely made me better because I, I did study him a lot. I still do. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Anybody else? Uh, it don't have to be music. It can yeah. be like, or I mean, not music. It don't have to be um singing. It could be rapping. And I, the same for you. I didn't want you to think it was limited. It's just, but I heard you say Lil Dirk. So. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, definitely Dirk is a good one. But I think Jamie Foxx, Chris Brown, see Usher, Justin Bieber is a good one too. Rapper wise, uh, YB and Corday, I'm, a, I, I would definitely want to make a song with him. YB, what YB and Corday, yeah. uh, you probably don't know. I can't even give you a song. I don't know. He got, cause I know he got a new song, but you probably wouldn't know it though. I probably would. My kids probably listen. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I think YB and Corday, let's see, J Cole, Twenty One Savage. Okay, J Cole. Uh, people, just people like that. Roddy Rich, people that I know could be versatile with their lyrics. Oh. Lil Baby. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, we forgot about him. Yes. Lil Baby, okay. yes. That'd probably be the first one because he, <laughs> like, he can actually, he know how to, yeah. Because we be in the loop. <laughs> we be in the loop. <laughs> That's why yeah. we be doing. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <clears throat> we was just yeah, in the loop. Just, I was feeling that one. Loop. So uh yeah, I, th- I think that's all pretty much. That's all. Yeah, I collaborate with, with, with Young Boy too, but he got. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I think he. No, no, no. NBA oh. Young Boy, he's still alive. Oh, 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 my bad. I'm sorry. I ain't mean to wish death on you, little baby. I'm so sorry. No, I'm, I was talking about, I was calling him a little baby. I won't say he was a little baby. I know it's a lot of names. <laughs> and just the little baby, the child, the man. The so, so, I would definitely collaborate with NBA Young Boy. I, I think he goes versatile too sometimes. He kind of has a melody in his rap, so it's like, it's hard. Yeah, I like that. So, okay, with that, with that being ass, is it? I see you went in detail a little bit. So, what is the reason for pick one person and tell me the reason why you would like to collaborate with them so much? Chris Brown, okay, cause I would pick Chris Brown because everything he do is like it's different. It's nothing of his is the same, and I guess it's like he has his own lane, and I got my own lane. So, I, if we made a song, it'd be like phenomenal. That would be dope. That would. Have anybody ever told you to like on um, Trey songs a little bit? No. 
They tell you that a lot. You do a little bit when you just looked at me. I was like, mm-hmm. okay, little Trey. Come on, Trigger. Okay. I see you, man. Young Trigger over here. See, that's why, that's why he didn't say his name. He said, mm-mm, y'all already say I look like him too much. No collaborations with you, so. <laughs> Uh-uh. <laughs> Look, you do. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm being a fan. But you did. I do I can't help you. Uh, I just noticed it, too. Like, I've been looking at you the whole time. I just noticed it. But look, oh, okay, let me ask you one more question. My one more question, because I'm going to leave y'all alone. I know y'all got to go. Um, my one more question is, um, if you could pick, like today, any lane of music to pick, would you still pick R&B? Like, not because of nobody else, just your own thing. Would you still be R&B or would you go to something else? I think I would uh, pick R&B. I would pick R&B. R&B is rhythm and blues. But rhythm and blues expresses love. And love can be expressed in a different way. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> Y'all heard them. What you say? Talk to them. Why is your reason? Say Cause no, you got a different perspective. Mine, I was, I say R and B because a lot of people say R and B is dead, and I, I think we would be the two people to show them that it's not. <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> These young man is super mad. You understand me? Rebirth. Y'all, <laughs> y'all better check them out. <laughs> y'all better check them out. They are so dope. Tell them your handles one more time where they can reach you guys at. Okay, we got next to underscore music. Come on. We're not going to get personals? Okay. No personals. No personal. Okay, okay, okay. Just, yeah, just I mean, y'all, next y'all, you know, I mean, y'all eventually find out personals throughout the, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, just just go to the music But page. check them out and make sure that y'all check out their music on Spotify, on YouTube, Apple. on Google. What is it, Google? Apple Music. Apple Music. I mean, everything. You look it up, it pop up. Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere you at, they there. Hey, I, it popped up. I was at school. And, you know, you can't listen to a whole bunch of music at school. So they got, like, these apps. Our music was on there. It was like <laughs> it's like an app you're not supposed to have. Like it's like an app like that you gotta use because you can't use YouTube and search up music at school. But you have they, good content, so yeah. But they block it off. They oh, block they it off. It all off. Like cause like they block off everybody's music. Any artist they block it off. So somebody went to a different app. It was called like I don't know. They be having the off brand apps, and our music was on there. I was like, dang. <laughs> well, that's good though. Yeah. That mean no, no. that mean anybody can hear it, baby. That's yeah. good, accessible to everyone. That's dope. I really enjoyed you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all so. Yes, ma'am. I enjoyed you. Oh, thank you. Did you enjoy yourself now? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> they are so super dope. Make sure y'all check next two out. They are the big thing, baby. They coming from Charlotte, North Carolina. Y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in. Do y'all have any um upcoming event that y'all can share that's coming up soon with the people? Like an event. And it got to be a video of y'all doing any shows right. and things like that so I can maybe come see y'all. Yeah, I mean. Not yet. Only thing is just be on the lookout for the video. Look out for the September video. 25th. Our love. <laughs> Our love is coming out. So September 25th. I'm going to make sure I post it myself. That's okay? Right. I'm going to make sure I post it too so y'all can check it out on my page. You know, um, my followers, my viewers, y'all can make sure y'all tap into that because I do not want y'all to miss it. It's so dope. And y'all check them out on all the platforms, okay? All of the platforms. I really appreciate you guys. And I appreciate you watchers out there. All my supporters, all my fans, all my viewers, all my loved ones. A big up to everybody. I got my pastor on the line. All right. <laughs> big shout outs. I don't pay at that too much. Yes, yes, yes. Um... Again, thank everybody for coming out. I hope you guys had a beautiful Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. You know what it means. Look, thank you so much for being here with me. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. You know that means so very much to me. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay up. And y'all stay sucker free. Y'all make sure y'all check out and next to on all the platforms. Thank you guys again for coming That's out. Right. It's oh, been so much love. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all stay up out there, okay? Mwah. Next time. Peace. Why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it.